Today I'm going to show you how to do these particular leaves. This is another uh, variety of leaves that I'm going to put in my um, bouquet. And it's going to be a different, it's a different lighter green just to give it a little bit more color and texture. And I hope you will like it. And I'll show you how to make these. These are a little bit different. We're still using the bias cut um, that I showed you in my other videos. And I hope you will um, add this variety into your bouquets or arrangements, centerpieces, um, even boutonnieres because they're actually really petite and tiny. So I'll put this aside and I will show you how I made a whole bunch of them so you can see that um, the crepe paper comes in two different colors, this lighter green color and this uh, darker uh, mossy color. So what we'll do is, we, I, so in my posy box, I actually gave you two different wires. So I gave you the 26 gauge, which is really light, and then I have the 16 gauge, which is much heavier and sturdier. So we're gonna use both of them today. And what I'll do is, I will go ahead and pick the two smaller leaves, and I will get this started. And one thing I like to do is, I like to open up the petal, bend it a little bit, and kind of play with it. Not too much, but just kind of spread it out, give it a little um, ruffle, and we'll start. So I'm using the dark green floral tape, um, which I'm using for the entire bouquet, so it doesn't um, pop out by using a different type of tape. And again, with to activate the tape, you want to stretch it out, and then dots of glues that's all over this tape will come out on both sides. And we'll go ahead and start with just one, and we'll just wrap it lightly. And then we'll grab another matching one. It doesn't have to be the same size. And I'm just gonna tuck it in just like a quarter of an inch down a little bit. And if the tape slides, don't worry about it. Or if it's easier, let me see here. What you can do is you can actually, I've seen some um, of the leaves where it's matching like this. This might be easier to start until you get a nice, um, understand the rhythm of how to use the tape. This might be easier. So you're gonna just wrap it a couple of times and then start twirling it down. Once you get about maybe an inch, I'll go ahead and grab another one, um, just slightly larger. And just go ahead, um, so this particular pattern is you're doing two on the side and then you're gonna put two on the opposite side. And it'll just give you this natural, kind of fun botanical look. And then again, this time I'm going down maybe an inch and a half, picking another one slightly a little bit larger. Again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna put it on the opposite side. So it looks like that. Again, just slide it down until it matches. And so you can kind of see where the tape is going. And then I will just go ahead and twirl it and tighten it. And I will grab this time something slightly larger and I'll move, start moving. So the smaller and then the large one on that side. We'll go ahead and put it the opposite direction again and then just move on. And then we'll go ahead and choose from the same batch. And this, as you notice, I'm getting slightly further apart as I move down to each leaf set. And then I will, and it doesn't have to be perfect because you know how nature is. Nature is imperfectly perfect. All right, here we go. And once it's pretty tight, I'll go down a little bit more, grab a larger set. Again, going the opposite way. There you go. And then um, once I feel like it's about long enough, I will go ahead and grab a pretty large set, finish it off. And to finish the stem off, again, you're doing opposite side. As you can see here and here. And then I'm gonna grab one of these, uh, the 16 gauge. I'm gonna put it right next to the bottom part of where the leaf ends. So I'm just gonna tuck it in. And this will hide that lump that you're adding a much heavier wire to. But, and then you wanna make sure that it's pretty tight in. And then you're gonna go in 
and just finish it off. And then one thing I like to do, if the tape seems a little bit not very even, I'll actually go back and redo this again. This, but I'm not doing it as tight. And you'll notice that I'm really stretching it and I'm just going down and I'm not using as much tape as I did beforehand. And there you go. Now you have another variety of leaf that you can add to your bouquet arrangement. And the really fun thing about using such a light gauge for the top part is it's so flexible. You can actually add a lot of movement to this. And whereas the bottom part has that structure, but you can still bend it because it's, um, it's a 16 gauge and not an eight gauge or even a six gauge, where a six gauge might be really hard. And so um, adding a little bit of texture, you just want to stretch those petals out a little bit, give it a little bit more movement and life. And just adding these tiny little touches, well, this will actually make your leaf seems more real because you're adding that natural curve that that real ruffle that leaves sometimes get and this is all finished i hope you enjoy the video uh, comment below if you have any questions and uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel because i'll be adding a lot more tutorials and tips and advice on how to make better leaves plants um, and hopefully more flowers Thank you so much. Bye. Happy making.